dream and reality merge in Andrew Davis's highly unorthodox drama, A Few Short Journeys of the Heart, stages on BBC Two very shortly. This is BBC One Southwest. Channel Island News with Kate Jennings. Good evening. Jersey's royal court looks certain to be asked to settle the battle for the bodies of Elizabeth and Nicholas Newell. Son Mark, who was sentenced to six years for helping cover up their murder, is executor for the will. Relatives want to bury the body in Scotland, but at present they have no control over the estate or the deceased. Guernsey's crime rate has risen by 12% over the last year. The biggest increases are in house burglaries, up by more than 50%, and car thefts, which have increased by 48%. Guernsey police say there's also been a spate of thefts from boats. They're advising people against leaving valuables on them. Former centenaire Philip Rondell is to stand for deputy of St John in Jersey. He says he hopes to unite the parish. It's not yet known if former constable John Lesueur will also be in the running. Guernsey's Island Development Committee has pledged to do all it can to improve facilities for the disabled. The IDC says it will work together with the newly formed access group to make sure new buildings cater for the disabled. The constable of St Helier in Jersey is not to be prosecuted for an alleged incident with a teenage cyclist. A police investigation was carried out after the girl complained. Constable Bob LeBrock stopped her riding in a pedestrian precinct. The Attorney General has decided there's insufficient evidence to continue. There's been little opposition to the plans to introduce driving licences with photographs in Guernsey. President of the state's traffic committee, Deputy Mike Dean, says he doesn't see it as a step towards identity cards or an infringement of civil liberties. And now look at the weather. It'll be rather cloudy with occasional showers which will be heavy and thundery at times overnight. Some bright or sunny intervals should develop in the afternoon. Top temperature tomorrow of 19 degrees Celsius. Good evening to you. Well, yet more